Hi, this is a video describing how to deal with multiple entries in your Kodi library. For example, if you look at my uh, setup here, you'll see that it says I've got um, the movie regression, and you can see that the the location of this file says NAS Blu-ray 22. Right, then I look at the other one and I can see that it's in another hard drive called blu as one So the first thing you've got to determine is do you have two copies of the same file? And if you do, then you must go and manually delete the second copy because the library, the scraper will pick it up. Uh, in my case, I had moved all my um, Blu-rays that were R to another drive. So then if you do not clean the library, which I'm going to show now, then it will not uh, remove the duplicate. So what you're going to do is once you've made sure that you do not have duplicate actual files, and I showed you where the, the movie is being stored. I showed you the, the link there. So then what you're going to do is you've got to go to uh, video, and then you've got to go to library, and then you say, say clean library. Then it'll say, do you want to clean the library? Okay, my library is very big, so it'll take a bit of time. Okay, let's just wait till it cleans the library. Now, once it's cleaned the library, you can go back to your movies folder and see that it removed the duplicates. Because what this uh, um, program is now doing is it's going to look and check that all the links to the movies are actually present. So in this case, because I removed the regression um, actual movie folder and files, the, the actual Blu-ray uh, file, then when the when the uh, uh, program Cody goes and checks and sees it's missing uh, in the Blu-ray's drive, then it will say, okay, remove it from the from the uh, from the library. So let's go and have a look. Or what we can also do is we can uh, we can search. We can say regression. There's the movie, and there's now only one of them. Let's see. And let's have a look at where the destination of this movie is. There, it's only in the Blu-rays 22 because the one that was in the Blu-rays uh, uh, one the hard drive is now removed. And the when I cleaned the library, it knew that and it removed it from the 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 library. Okay, um, I did see I had a Sweeney Todd, so I'm just going to demonstrate it um, one more time. So you can see I've got Sweeney Todd, Sweeney Todd, and Sweeney Todd. So it's, there's definitely a problem with that movie, Sweeney Todd. I seem to have three Sweeney Todd. So let's look at the first one. It is sitting in DVD. So that's the drive. I have a drive called DVDs. And then now let's look at the next Sweeney Todd. Let's sort this by, by name. Title, yeah, that's better. And then let's look for Sweeney Todd again. All right, there's this first Sweeney Todd. Now we should see all three Sweeney Todds. Right, the first one is sitting in DVDs. You see, it's on the Windows Share. It's called. It's on my computer called NAS, and it's in the hard drive called DVDs. Now the second Sweeney Todd is sitting in Movies Drive. You can see it's on my NAS, and it's sitting in a Movies Drive. Um, and then the third one is probably a, a now an HD, oh, kids movies. Um, so there I have this movie three times in my, on my NAS. And actually this is not for children. So the first thing is I must go and move it off those, those uh, kids drives. So let's, um, let's now, uh, let me demonstrate how I will do that. I will go into my NAS now. And using the information that I got from Cody telling me where I have these three duplicate movies. Let's start with the children's draft. Movies in school, kids movies, it said kids videos, kids movies, and let's look for Sweeney Todd. There it is. And let's look at the file. Okay, let's remove it.
let's cut it and now it's deleted sorry now it's gone now I will also go and look uh, it also said it was in my DVD section which is I think also sitting here there's my DVDs let's look for Sweeney Todd there it is yeah let's delete that now let's look in my last place it said uh, movies let's look for Sweeney Todd there it is so you can see that this movie was in three different places on my NAS or my uh, shared Windows drives so the key here is now to go back to Kodi and see if I do the um, the clean library if it will solve that problem so settings and then we'll go to video we say library we say clean library yes okay let's just wait for it to clean it and this is how you solve the problem of duplicates on your in your um, library okay let's go back to the Let's go back to the, uh, it's still busy. Let's go back to the movies folder. Um, let's look for Sweeney Todd again. Sweeney Todd, probably BWSW. There it is. Sweeney Todd is there. And now you can see there's no additional Sweeney Todd. And let's see where it is. Exactly where I left it only in my movies drive. I've removed the one in the DVDs drive and the children's drive So that is how you remove duplicate copies of the same movie you use the the uh, link that is given here and Then you do a you clean the library Okay, so uh, thanks for watching and that's the end of this tutorial on